Hey, how you guys doing? This is William Myers, Mass Outdoors. And not too long ago, I released a video about how to make some fish gorges and some things out of uh, safety pins. And where I got those safety pins from was my sewing kit. So I had a lot of people commenting and questioning and stuff like that about it and like how I do repairs in the woods and things like that and what I bring along with me to do so. So that's what this video is about, so don't go away. All right guys, so anybody that has watched my channel for any length of time knows that this is my hit pack. I did a video about this pack just by on its own and this pack pretty much never leaves my body when I'm in the woods. So the things that are in here, I choose them as uh, emergency means or things that I'm going to need on a, on a regular basis that I don't want to dig in my haversack for and I don't want to risk losing so I keep them close to my body at all times. So this is where I would keep a repair kit. And my repair kit is pretty simple. It consists of several different needles. I don't use just one needle because the right tool for the right job means there's going to be different needles for different jobs. And right here, duct taped to the back of this belt pouch is my needles for the most part the bigger ones and what I keep in here are a couple big straight needles for like patchwork and things like that and you know I carry a uh, I can't remember the name of this sail needle so Williams or something like that it's a really really good sail needle it's made in England very nice seal needle. You see right there, made in England. I got it written down somewhere, so I will note in the video what it is called. But you know, I got a couple different needles there for different jobs. And then I have a really big needle in here for big jobs. But you're not going to want to fix a garment with one of these needles necessarily. You know, those are more for like leather work and, and tougher jobs. For like sewing up a hole in a boreal shirt or, you know, what have you. You're going to want something a little bit smaller. And that's where this comes in. This is my sewing kit. So we can go ahead and get rid of this bag here. This is my sewing kit. So this is what I would use for repairs of like you know garments sewing on patches sometimes things like that and what it is is if you know anybody that wears contacts they're gonna probably have a bundle of these that you can get off of them but all these are this is a piece of leather wrapped around and we'll get into why that's there in a minute but all this is is for contacts is for cleaning contacts and you have like a, a peroxide basically that goes in here with your contacts and then gets neutralized and then it gasses out into uh, basically just water. But that's what I use as a sewing kit so let's go ahead and go through the contents of that. Alright guys so let's get into why I carry this piece of leather. One, it can be used as a, as a strop, an emergency strop and for you know it helps me out for tool maintenance and things like that but one of the main reasons that I use this piece of leather is basically to protect my hands and to help me sew a little bit faster and all alright so what I do is I cut about almost a two inch piece of, of leather and it doesn't have to be super long just you know maybe four or six inches long and then what I do is I take my index finger and I just wrap that right in half just like that okay and then I take my middle finger and my ring finger and I kind of pinch it just like that and then my thumb just right there and then when I'm sewing the needle rests there against my thumb and that allows me to push the needle through the material especially like patches and things like that you know and it just allows me to sew that much faster it's also you know really more grippy than my my skin is so it allows me to pull the needle through tough material as well so it's just it, it helps me not stab myself for one 
and it helps me sew a little bit faster. So, you know, nothing too elaborate, and it has a couple other uses, you know, like tool maintenance, using it as a strop and things like that. All right, so let's get on to the main body of the sewing kit. What I use, this is plenty for what I need, just as an emergency sewing kit. This could last a very long time. You know, doing repairs, I have a lot of thread in here. I have a couple of needles in here and safety pins and buttons and things like that. The more common things that I run into for repair needs. So, what I do is right up top here, I keep safety pins and needles. But let's go ahead and completely dump this and then repack it that way you can see kind of the mindset that goes into packing this sewing kit. All right, what I do is I take these sewing machine bobbins. <laughs> and if you get this contact lens cleaner, these are about absolutely perfect. But you see they have a hollow body there, a hole in it. And that's so you can put it in a sewing machine and that's how it gets threaded and et cetera, et cetera. But what I do is I load it with thread and there is a bunch of thread on here. There's about, I think 30 yards worth of, of thread just right there. And I have two of these in my sewing kit. But they fit perfectly right in the bottom. So I'll stack two of them right on top of each other. Those are loaded with thread. Okay, so that hole, that hollow body, utilize that, right? I take all my needles and I carry several different from pretty stout to pretty thin. You know, it's not like I have 50 of them in here. I, have, I think I got four. Four or five. Yeah, five. And they just a, a range of needles that I, I have. What I do is I put them needle side down right into that hole of the sewing machine bobbin. Just like that. So I know they're safe and secure and they're needle side down so when I'm digging in here I'm not going to get poked. At least by the needle side. And then I just stack my safety pins right all around it. Try to keep everything as straight and uniform as possible because it just helps to pack all of this a little bit tighter and so everything fits. I like to keep a lot of safety pins because I mean I know how to do so much with safety pins that you know I'll chew through them pretty quick if I absolutely have to. So I like to keep a few of them. Keeps. I'm not a great sewer guys. I'm really not. I'll be the first one to admit it. So, I mean, I really need to use these safety pins to keep everything stable and where I want it until it's completely sewed up and then I can remove my safety pins. But I have two smaller buttons for emergency repairs as well. Those go in there. And then I have a needle threader. And this thing pretty much saves my life because I mean, I could thread a needle, it just, this takes it probably half the time to thread it. And I just fold those in half, because you don't need the whole thing, you just need, you know, a, you just need the basically the meat and potatoes of it, is that little hook right there, that little end that's sticking out. So that's all that I need from this tool, and it, it really helps me out a lot. It's kind of a one trick pony, there may be some other uses, maybe some out of the box thinking, you know. It's pretty much a one trick pony. I really don't like to carry them, but this saves me so much headache when I'm threading needles that it does go into my sewing kit. Doesn't take up any more room. Just goes right in the side there. Doesn't take any more 
up any very much room at all and there's nothing else that goes with my sewing kit so it pretty much just fills the spaces close the lid and there you go you know a lot of sewing kits that I see you know, these big square pouches sometimes you know and, and people make their own this is all that I need for a repair kit this and the needles that are sewn or I'm sorry taped to my hip pack it's absolutely everything every repair that I need to do whether it be with bank line or thread so on and so on can be done just with these this repair kit and I'll take my leather rewrap that and that's ready to go back into my hip pack just like that Take that piece of chalk out. I always keep my packs, whether it be a, a full size pack, a Roy Croft pack, or a hip pack, I always keep it very Tetris and organized so I don't have to really even look to see what I'm to, to get where I'm going you know my live fire you know I know where everything is in this bag just by touch and feel I really don't even have to look <clears throat> and there we go all right guys everything's packed back up and that's my repair kit all right guys well I hope that that answers some of the questions that I've been getting on Facebook and some on YouTube as well you know like I said with that repair kit I could pretty much do what needs to be done in the woods all right guys well it's been william myers from mass outdoors i hope you enjoyed watching this video for some more of our previous videos they're over in the boxes playing right now to my left there's also a subscribe button over there and if you haven't done so already i appreciate it click subscribe you can stay up to date with me and what's going on with the videos by going to www.facebook.com forward slash mass outdoors by going to www.manusoutdoorsllc.com, you can stay up to date with the videos. You can read my articles and other blogs that I write. You can also shop in the store, get some beeswax candles and some other things that are coming to the site very soon. So appreciate all your views, comments, and support, and hopefully we'll see you out in the woods. And that's my repair. Ugh, my repair. <laughs> Three, two, one.